Namaste to all. Welcome to Lively Homestyle. Today I'm sharing bitagar dry sabzi recipe. This recipe I learned from my mom. Here you go with the recipe. Ingredients you need are mustard 1 teaspoon, parad dal 1 tablespoon, turmeric 1 and half teaspoon including marination in the masala paste, coriander powder 1 teaspoon, chili powder 1 teaspoon, few curry leaves, grated coconut 1 cup, peeled garlic around 2 pots and of course bitter guard around 2 cups. If the bitter guard seeds are tender, you don't have to remove the seeds, just chop as it is. If the seeds are harder, then you just scrape it off and chop. Take the chopped bitter guard in a bowl, add 1 teaspoon of turmeric and 1 teaspoon of salt and mix it well. You can keep this marination for 15 minutes to 1 hour. I usually keep it for half an hour. For the masala paste, add coconut, spice powder along with little water and grind it. The paste should be between coarse to fine in texture. Rinse the bitter guard pieces along with some water. Turmeric and salt takes out the extra bitterness from the bitter guard. Squeeze the water thoroughly from the bitter guard pieces and keep it aside. In a heavy bottom vessel or a kadai, add 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil. Once the oil is hot, add mustard. After spluttering, add urad dal and saute for a while. Add the garlic pieces and fry it. Now add curry leaves. Add bitter guard pieces, mix it well and fry. Cook it covered under low to medium flame. You can see the bitter guard pieces have changed its color and we are able to break it easily. So it's cooked. At this point add the ground masala paste and mix well. Now add salt. Do remember that bitter guard pieces have absorbed some salt from the marination. So add salt accordingly. Fry it till the masala paste is dry. Now the bitter guard sabzi is ready to serve.